For entree, we actually have a cold soup. It can be have ha, had cold or hot. I actually like it better cold. It's a um, mm. carrot. It's a it's a roasted or baked carrot um, with cumin and orange. It's completely delicious. You've got that lovely sort of gentle warmth of the cumin, mm -hmm. but I can also taste roasting the carrot, which has released the sugars. Absolutely. Which is just absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. Um, tell me what mm. the main is here. That that soup is amazing. Okay. So uh, the main is uh, something I just created a few weeks ago. I, I was just sitting on the couch and I thought, I'm just going to yeah put that and I've got that in the garden I've got that and that and came up with what I've termed superfood lasagna so it's got um, sweet potato mash uh, so buttery sweet potato mash using um, a uh, plant-based butter mm -hmm. then on top there's a whole lot of spinach from the garden with mm -hmm. a bit of um, uh, cheddar style cheese vegan cheese shreds in there so once again all um, all plant-based uh, on top of that there's uh, smoked paprika cauliflower mash which I bake the cauliflower in the oven uh, for about half an hour with smoked paprika all over it and then put it in the blender. Um, then on top of that, there's actually kale with a New Orleans-style um, spicy um, rub. So there's a lovely, mild, gentle, spicy flavour yeah. about all of this, but I can't believe that that's it's basically it's all vegetable. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And then the sweet potato again on the top and then those uh, slightly uh, uh, blackened bits on the top mm -hmm. um, is actually black garlic salt. Oh, it's so delicious. We've got yes. dessert to come. I, I can't stop eating the slice, but, um, but, but I'm holding up, well, it's a donut. It's a chickpea donut. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a healthy donut? Well, I'm eating something very sticky at the moment. Yes. And quite delicious. You should have tried to put, put it together. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it is. It's uh, basically replacing the normal flour that you would use with a combination of, uh, basically I used a tin of chickpeas and um, uh, about half a cup of um, wholemeal flour, which just obviously is better than white, you know, mm. highly processed bleach flour. Uh, and then a whole lot of things like vanilla, uh, bean, and a um, bit of apple cider vinegar to help, you know, sort of cut down that real strong chickpea flavour. Um, there's some brown sugar in there. That's probably the only really horrible thing. Um, and then, of course, you've got the fake chocolate and the fake um, choc honeycomb on top, which is probably not the best. But uh, if you just have it without on, just a bit of um, cinnamon or something, they're, they're um, I, oh, well, I'm biased, but they're delicious. Uh, it is delicious. Um, Michelle's just texted to say, Darren is a complete creative cooking star in the vegan ACT community. No one should be scoffed at for wanting to improve their health and to stop exploiting and harming animals. Much love to Daz and his creations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 